In our politics lead, the Twitter account for the rapper Ye, better known as Kanye West, has been suspended after he tweeted a disgusting image of the star of David with a swastika inside. The tweet follows a series of anti-Semitic ramblings from Kanye West in recent months and comes on the same day he gave an interview to far-right conspiracy theorist Alex Jones, during which Ye expressed his love for Adolf Hitler. Let's bring in former Florida Congressman Ted Deutsch, who's now the CEO of the American Jewish Committee. Uh, Congressman, what was your reaction to Ye praising Hitler? Well, I, I was as disgusted as every person should have been, Jake. We thought that Kanye hit rock bottom, at least as far as an, his anti-Semitism goes, when he was kicked off Twitter previously for his rants. But this this outburst, the image that he posted, pra praising Hitler, Nazis, expressing love for them, uh, it is dangerous. Uh, and it comes at the end of a very challenging week for the Jewish community, where it feels like we're being bombarded with anti-Semitism every single day. Yeah, and this, this comes, of course, after former President Trump dined uh, with both Ye and another notorious anti-Semite, uh, Nick Fuentes at, at Mar-a-Lago, uh, and Trump has yet to condemn the views of either Ye or Fuentes. Well, that's right, and there was some reporting this week that the former president thought that this would blow over. He thought that the, the former president of the United States hosting rabid anti-Semites and Holocaust deniers would somehow cease to matter. And I join with the chorus of Democrats and Republicans, including his former vice president, who have called on, on Donald Trump to apologize, to condemn this. It doesn't, anti-Semitism doesn't go away. It festers and it leads to more and it empowers the kind of, uh, the kinds of vicious anti-Semites that too often uh, have taken action. We've seen that time and time again, so much so that the, the Jewish community in America, just as the Jewish community in Europe, where I am now, is, is terrified. You, you talk to the people here, Jake, and I've been meeting with the Jewish communities in France and in Greece, and they're, they've been experiencing this anti-Semitism for two decades, and they're horrified now by what they see in the United States as much as the, our own community in the United States is. This is an enormous challenge. We must come together to fight this Jew hatred. So just for, uh, you're in Athens, Greece right now. Um, the, uh, why is it dangerous? Uh, because the, uh, the, the contrary argument well, might yeah. be, Kanye West is just an entertainer, uh, just a singer. Nick Fuentes is just yeah. whatever he is, uh, a person of no importance or influence. Um, and these are words, they're not deeds. What's your response to that? Why do you, why do you think it's dangerous? Well, I, I appreciate that. that because words can lead to deeds. Because the, it's the, the, if you look at the words that have been published by uh, by killers time and again in America, the killer who went to Tree of Life Synagogue uh, expressed his, his virulent anti-Semitism clearly. When a social media influencer with tens of millions of followers posts this kind of horrific hate, uh, it sits out there. If it's not taken down, if he's not shut off of Twitter or social media, and it feeds a long history that has done such damage to the Jewish community. Over time, Jews have been, they've been attacked, they've been run out of countries, uh, obvious, they've been expelled from countries. Obviously, the Holocaust in which six million Jews were killed is the worst example of where anti-Semitism can lead, but it often leads to violence. That's why, that's exactly why this issue is so serious. And it's not just the Jewish community, when there is anti-Semitism present, there's a bigger problem in society. That's why AJC has called for a societal response and our call to action against anti-Semitism. It's why we put out Translate Hate at, at translatehate.org so people can understand just what the words that they think aren't that powerful have led to over centuries and, in fact, millennia.